It was! It was! It was me! Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily Reddit content anywhere on the internet. Promise Swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're jumping back into r slash neckbeard stories! Hooray! This is the continuation of the Casino Beard Saga. If you haven't seen parts 1 and 2, they are down in the description. We're going to be covering parts 3 and 4 today. So big shout out, two years late, to Typhoid Mary. <laughs> You guys also might not have known that I've been gone for the past few days, so if I didn't, like, reply or heart to uh, the comments that I usually do, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to it on this video. I had to do, like, some dealings with my passport and stuff, and it still isn't over, but um, if you're in the Discord, then you'll be privy to when I dip and stuff like that. But anyways, let's do the thing that we do. I'm quite excited to get back to Casino Beard. So we'll get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some Neckbeard Stories cringe. I just wanted coffee, dude. We all do. <laughs> Casino Beard Saga, part three. Well, well, well. The response has been... Overwhelming. I had given it a few days and I am back with the next tale in the story of Casino Beard. I will be telling all of these stories in chronological order, so at the tops of all the text posts I'll have part XX. This installment is a bit of a quickie, well at least the event is short. And now, on with the show! I don't know why you put part XX, I know this saga doesn't get into the double digits and it breaks my heart. <laughs> But anyways, our characters are OP, an 18-year-old girl, I have some dorky tattoos, look like a punk, and I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Casino Beard, CB for short, 30-something, tall, fat, greaseball of a human being with no regard for boundaries. Can't believe a girl likes video games. And also can't believe that a girl doesn't want him to touch her. <laughs> Lamau, what? <laughs> And then we got Chad, 20-something, tall-as-heck Chad-looking dude, is quite aware of Casino Beard's antics and is becoming my work husband. Mr. Rogers, my shift supervisor, a 50-something, jaded-as-hell war veteran with a soft spot for me, but not in a creepy way. Again, sweet as all heck and very Mr. Rogers type. He will be my savior in many Casino Beard attacks. Now for some context. I had started my job in January of 2018, right after the new year. Because Chad was my trainer, I was going to be on his schedule for the next two weeks, so I had two nights off. Hallelujah. But alas, that came to an end. This story isn't as intense, but it does give a lot of context to Casino Beard's behavior in future stories. Again, our story starts waiting for the bus to take me into the casino. Manic Monday was playing on the radio. <laughs> How fitting. Man, God bless YouTube. I mean, I don't get days off anymore, but <laughs> at least I ain't got to worry about Mondays. Chad and a few other of our coworkers were waiting for the bus, and I was just screwing around on Instagram when out of the corner of my eye, I saw him again. Our lovely antagonist. Such beauty. Such grace. He is our Miss 2008. His clothes were so tight against his skin. Did he get fatter over the weekend? It's possible. <laughs> I like to think that that was the biggest uniform that they had available, because literally everyone's uniform, including my own, hung slightly loosely off our bodies. Baggy black khakis, a loose-fitting black shirt, and our jackets. You'd think he just walked out of a Hot Topic because of how tight his clothes were. And not in a good way. <laughs> I'm talking about you could see all them jelly rolls. <laughs> the bus rolled up before he got a chance to catch up. I was sat at the back of the bus next to Chad and the wall. The bus ride was normal. Got off, took the long walk to the security area, and clocked in. This story takes place totally before work, again. 
So while you're reading this, just remember that I had a whole eight-hour shift afterwards. Good evening, he said. Casino Beard was standing behind me at the kiosk. I had just swiped my employee badge and was ready to book it for the cafeteria to get a coffee. It was 11.30, so I had about 15 minutes to kill. I would quickly learn that this was, in fact, not good. <laughs> It'll be the longest 15 minutes of your life, OP. I ignored him and swiftly made my way between him and the kiosk to the cafeteria. It was small, with a Pete's coffee inside. I hustled over and asked for a small black with an espresso shot. For being a woman of such taste, I, I didn't think you'd take it black. Fuck. Did he follow me? Wait. Was that racist? <laughs> oh, God. Was that an actual comment on race or just coffee? <laughs> I'm going to assume it was just coffee. We've seen no other uh, racist proclivities, so I'm not going to make that leap quite yet. <laughs> if it were anybody else, I would think it were just about the coffee. Holy hell. Adding sugar is a great way to drink your calories, I mumbled. Now, my mom lost about 100 pounds when I was a child, and she instilled all of her healthful ways into me. And a big thing was not to drink calories, especially calories that didn't have any nutrition, so I stayed away from sodas and juices and heavily sugared coffees, and I spent a lot of time studying nutrition, and I even worked as a dietary assistant for a while. So I know a thing or two about how our bodies function. I love a woman who cares about her body. <laughs> he smiled creepily, pouring easily like a fifth of a cup of sugar into his coffee. He had a fistful of those little single-serving hazelnut creamers, and I was starting to see why he was so fat. I love a man who takes care of his, I said, with an obvious look of disgust on my face. You could see his whole body tense up. The gears were turning in his head. Steam was starting to come out of his ears, and there was a hot wash of red coming over his face. <laughs> well, it's the lady's job to stay fit so she can raise kids. Men don't have that kind of standard, he said. Little flecks of spit came off the tip of his tongue while he spoke. Good lord. All right, guys, we have a traditional man over here. Isn't it everybody's responsibility in the relationship to take care of themselves? Why would you hold somebody that you're dating to a standard that you don't hold yourself to? You know what I mean? That don't make no sense. Just so much expectations from the side of the ladies, and it's so unfair. I mean, it's pretty clear to me that this guy's just lost in the sauce anyways, you know? <laughs> I think at this point he should be grateful for any lady who would look his direction. <laughs> and that's certainly not OP. And I'm also not going to accept traditional man as an insult. As long as, you know, you're actually being traditional and not um, casino beard. Okay, here I said something that I definitely shouldn't have. Because it would have prevented the rest of this conversation. But I seized my opportunity. I took it. And it still feels great. In my world, it's also a man's job to be able to fuck me missionary without crushing me. <laughs> it's very relevant. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, expect a fucking backache. <laughs> my wife doesn't know anything about that. <laughs> I'm light as a feather, stiff as a board, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. <laughs> But, but the fact that you started having sex with your partner is like accepting the fact that, you know, you get a, a backache after. Sex is too good that you forget about the back pain after, you know? <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about this back pain. <laughs> I just really wanted this dude to know that his weight was a huge turnoff and he had to leave me alone. But of course, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you'd never be on top of your husband? <laughs> That's fucking deplorable, he hissed. <laughs> Wait, I thought he was a traditional man. <laughs> his face was red, his knees weak, 
arms were heavy, vomit on a sweater already, mom spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Little beads of sweat glistened on his forehead. Only if my husband can return the favor, I hissed, moving as quickly as I could back to the security area. God, that felt so good. I got a quick glimpse at his face. His stupid jaw was open, and his nasty teeth were hanging out. His brow was furrowed to a perfect V on his forehead. His sparse unibrow hairs did their best to be the center of attention of his gross, acne-ridden forehead. <laughs> Oof, I felt so powerful. I walked back out to where Chad and Mr. Rogers were standing. They looked visibly concerned. Casino Beard was in there. You good? Chad asked. Yeah, I'm alright. Hopefully he'll leave me alone for the rest of the night. I smiled from behind my coffee. I don't know, just... Pointing out to a fat, slimy bastard that no girl would ever ride him, and he could never properly fuck a chick, was powerful to me. Was he a virgin? Probably. <laughs> is he lurking on this sub? I hope to hell that he is. Uh, this normally happens when girls sign up, Mr. Rogers sighed. God, this has happened before? Hopefully, he'll get bored of you. We can pray, <laughs> I smiled. I felt better now that Casino Beard knows full well that I will put him in his place. Unfortunately, this would not, in fact, stop him in the future. This is easily the most gentle encounter that I've ever had, and it was basically about Casino Beard thinking that I was staying in shape for a man. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I was. I was all up on the tinned game. <laughs> <laughs> OP keeps it real. <laughs> but it wasn't for him. <laughs> God damn. It's like the coolest OP. So, to shortly summarize what we've learned about Casino Beard today, he thinks men are a gift to women. Women are only good for raising children and pleasing men. And he's an even bigger perv than we thought. This will all be relevant. As a spoiler, he uses... You're just a girl, many times. Oh, I'm just a girl. Oh, little old me. Now don't let me out of your side. Oh, I'm just a girl. What's my destiny? Don't let me have any rights. Whoa, I've had it up to here. And so OP has. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks on the job, she's already like, I hate you, and I'm going to tell you to your face that I hate you. It still kind of puts a hole into my theory about, like, eviscerating a beard immediately, and then they'll leave you alone. Because one thing that we've learned neckbeards are is stubborn, determined, somewhat unstoppable, no matter how you treat them. Because the truth is, it's not really a you problem, it's a them problem. So no matter how you react to the situation, they are going to continue to be them. And I guess that's all right as long as we stay us and keep pushing back against this. <laughs> uh, I also like the uh, the musical injections. I'm, I'm picking up what OP's putting down over here. <laughs> We're going to have to write the neckbeard rap song sooner rather than later, I think. But that's for another day. For now, I suppose we'll get into part number four of Casino Beard and see just how far... This big, fat, tiny worm is willing to take things. Just a girl is a cursed phrase. <laughs> Casino Beard Saga, part number four. Welcome back to the story of Casino Beard. Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> Our fat antagonist who made my mediocre night job a living hell. I'm sure you all know the deal, so I'll just introduce the characters. Yep. There they are. Oh, Simba is a new addition. Another co-worker has hella long hair. Looks like a damn lion. Super sweet to me, but a douche to anyone who isn't a girl or a bro. You know the type. I guess I should have saved Chad's voice for Simba. We're gonna have to get creative here, guys. <laughs> and then Freckles. Super tall, skinny guy. Has a Gears of War tattoo on his shoulder. Possibly the only friend of Casino Beards. Very nice, but legitimately doesn't understand how none of us like Casino Beard. <laughs> uh, 
Be very wary of the company you keep. That's all I'm going to say. You might get hit with that beard label right alongside them. Anyways, believe it or not, this story doesn't take place at work. It's how this scumbag decided to try and worm his way into my life and crash a date that I had with Chad. Bro, I knew that's the direction it was headed. <laughs> it all started with me getting home from work on a Thursday morning. Exhausted, sweaty, and drained from having to pull drunk girls out of the casino bathrooms. <laughs> How much you getting paid for this job? <laughs> it ain't enough, I'm gonna tell you that. I opened up my front door and was greeted by my dogs. It's honestly my favorite part of the morning. My younger dog reaches up for a hug and my older one follows me back to my bedroom to take a nap with me. And by nap, I mean like six hours of sleep. Yeah, man, night shift is hell on the body. I remember doing 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. at a, at a gas station and just, oh man, I was totally wrecked. <laughs> the pay was good, but at the end of the day, eh, not worth it. Once I was under the covers in my cave of darkness, <laughs> snuggling with my little furry guy, I did what everyone does in our technology-addicted society. I went on my phone just to check my social media, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess I know. Really, that's an hour of lost sleep as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Whatever, I'll check it at work tomorrow. Instagram would be the battlegrounds for this morning. I go to my notifications, and what do I see? Casino Beard is following you. Ah, damn it. <laughs> just block him. Instant. It was his first name and then just numbers following it for his username. My heart sank. Casino Beard likes your post. Oh god, what post? Wouldn't you know it, he liked something sacred and dear to my heart. A picture of my old man dog asleep in his chair. It felt dirty. That by him liking my post about my baby, he just ruined something sacred. He knows about my son now. <laughs> You don't ever talk to me or my hairy son again. <laughs> I know it's a bit anal and probably mean or bitchy to be like, Wow, he liked my photo, what a creep. But we've already established that he is a much older man who's basically preying on me and borderline sexually harassing me sometimes at work. And to know that he actively searched for my Instagram and found it and liked a post of my angel baby dog made me sick. Nobody told him my handle, so he went snooping for God knows how long to find it. It's not linked to my Facebook, it's a Insta. I was just disgusted with the thought of him looking for me and then looking at my baby. <laughs> I immediately blocked him, good move, and switched my account to private, better move. And then I said a Hail Mary to try and cleanse my dog. <laughs> Best move. <laughs> oh, fast forward to that evening. I was up about 2 p.m. and didn't have work until midnight. Nice. I received a text from Chad at about 4-ish. Hey, want to go to insert sports bar name here? Tonight with like a couple of people before work. Just like dinner and maybe a drink, it read. I mean, I'm too young to drink, but... Hey, I never get invited places. Hell yeah. Does this mean I have friends? So this is what it's like to be in a social group. Nice. <laughs> I said, hell yeah, obviously, and started getting ready. So this is what it's like to be in a friend group, having social obligations. Hard pass on that. <laughs> I'm too old and I just don't care no more. But at 18, yes, I definitely would have gone too. Now, I'd be going back home before work to change into my uniform and stuff, so I went all out. High heels, short black dress, and my usual 90s grunge makeup look, and some dark red lipstick. Fuck it, right? Chad picked me up from my house, and we met a few other co-workers there at about 7. It was Simba and Freckles. They already had a round of beers going. I quietly asked for a water from the waitress. The playoffs were on, and these boys were hyped! I wasn't alone, I had some buffalo wings, life was good and wholesome and I was happy. Now I'm accepting bets for how long you think my happiness lasted. I would totally make a bet but I can see in the spoiler, it was maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> I would have said like, you know, 5 hours up until midnight we had to show up at work. 
but I would have lost that bet. I felt a draft. <laughs> oh no. It's like when an evil wizard enters the tavern or something. <laughs> the front door was opening and then slowly closed, leaving an icy blast of January wind to hit me in the back. I could feel my bar stool move with every pound of those footsteps. I knew deep in my heart who it was. I didn't want to believe. I was ready to give up and just let the void take me. Swallow me whole. I look over to the guys. Simba and Chad were looking at Freckles like he had just killed a puppy. And Freckles had an awkward smile on his face. I thought it would be rude not to invite him, he mumbled. I, I didn't think he'd actually show up. I snapped my head around, and there he was in all of his slimy glory. I almost shit myself. He had it. He was wearing it on his head on purpose it was slightly too small for his manhole sized head <laughs> that's a big old noggin bro manhole size <laughs> black with gray pinstripes oh no this confirmed it it was it was a fedora <laughs> <laughs> I scoped him up and down. Was this bitch wearing dirty sweatpants to a sports bar? Yep, he sure was. Gray sweatpants and some sandals that looked like <laughs> they had seen better days. And a long sleeve shirt that was slightly too short. Ugh. <laughs> and showed the bottom of his nasty, sparsely hairy stomach. God, I could have gagged and thrown up. Nice to see you fellas. <laughs> He said, grinning his nasty, dirty teeth. Oh, hell. I was happy just moments ago. Holy hell. He turned to me and his lips curled into the biggest shit-eating grin. You look gorgeous this evening as every m'lady. <laughs> well, I just got m'ladied. I'd only ever heard about it in urban legends and comic book stores. I never once thought I would be on the receiving end of a m'lady. <laughs> I wanted to go home and just soak my body in battery acid to get to cringe off me. <laughs> but I don't think that would be strong enough to even scrape the surface of how uncomfortable I was in that moment. He got up on the bar stool directly across from me. Freckles and Chad were on either side of him. Chad and Simba were next to me. Simba was well aware of the situation and hated Casino Beard long before his antics with me. That's how it is with most of my coworkers, to be fair. Casino Beard ordered a beer, Bud Light. Jesus Christ. We're in a bar. He could have had anything, but he chose a Bud Light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> OP is 18. She doesn't even drink, and she knows how garbage that is. <laughs> Chad scooted his seat closer to mine, and Simba leaned closer to me as well. It was more of the three of us against the two of them at this point. I mean, Freckles is nice and all, but he's too nice. You know how I felt about Casino Beard. Screw you, Freckles. <laughs> Only water for the lady. <laughs> Don't be daft. We can handle seeing just the girl drink. Am I right, boys? <laughs> He smiled, cringely. <laughs> Oof, I was ready. Who the hell talks like that? Really? It's 2018. Stop white knighting all over the place. God, being called just a girl by him is a recurring theme, and it triggers me. <laughs> I totally would drink, aside from the fact that I turned 18 literally in September, I hissed. Sipping my water, I took out my phone to text Chad that we had to leave. Wow, I didn't know you were that young, Casino Beard said quietly. His face went blank, only for a second, but then that smile creeped back onto his fucking acne-ridden face. Must not have had a whole lot of experience then, do you? What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> I almost burst into flames from pure anger. He just will not take a hint. When will you ever understand? I'm never going to accept your creeping advances towards me. I barked at him. It was loud. I wanted it to be loud. I wanted the people at the bar behind me to know Casino Beard was here and wasn't welcome. I also wanted the staff to know that I was feeling harassed. It got a little silent. The waitress and I exchanged looks really fast. This was the kind of bar that you can order angel shots at. The ones that basically tell the staff that you're in trouble. And they'll call the police if you order an angel shot. She came over and asked me if I'd like a drink. And I said, not yet. <laughs> in hindsight, while typing this, the bar staff did more to protect me from Casino Beard than my own management team did. Wow, that's fucked up. All right, back to the story. What do you think you're doing? She's a literal teenager, Chad said to Casino Beard. The words obviously went in one ear and out the other, and Casino Beard did not fully grasp the situation. Well, you see, he has an underdeveloped frontal lobe, as most beards tend to do. He's actually incapable of higher thought. <laughs> wow, I, I didn't realize you two were a fig, I guess. Casino Beard said, with the most hardened look that I'd ever seen. First of all, not a thing. Second, Casino Beard looked about ready to rip Chad's head off. Third, how did he get that into his head? I started to say, we're not a fi- Let's go! Chad interrupted me and jumped off his seat. I carefully stepped down from the bar stool, because heels, when Casino Beard started scooting his seat back, saying, ah, I'll help you down! I snapped, and I was basically yelling, NEVER TOUCH ME! I was so pissed. I was getting flashes back to when he grabbed me on that first night on the job. His grip was tight. It was then that I made the connection. This man could hurt me. I quickly darted out of the bar and towards Chad's car. I could feel it, that hot wave of anger and frustration, and then the tears. Was I afraid of Casino Beard? Well. At this point, it was safe to say, yes. And that is a good reminder, as always. We like to laugh and make fun of beards, but, you know, they are dangerous animals at the end of the day. Some more dangerous than others, and Casino Beard? Definitely a Beardicai Predoracum, as far as I'm concerned. Chad promised me he'd bring it up with our supervisor, Mr. Rogers, but he can't do anything except make sure that we don't work anywhere near each other, which was already silently in play, it was a train wreck. I'm glad we left before he got a chance to say anything about Instagram. If he brought up my dog, I would have flipped. He is in no way invited to my social media platforms. But it gets brought up again, unfortunately. Thankfully, I didn't see him at all that night at work, but I was still a mess. That's all for now, my friends. I shall bring part 5 in the next few days, and to clear some stuff up, the managers don't really give a shit about what Casino Beard does to me. The turnover rate was super high, and Casino Beard had worked there for years and did overtime and doubles all the time, and they were critically understaffed, so the upper management really didn't do anything about it, especially because I was a night shift worker. They don't care what happens at night. And I ended up quitting maybe six or seven weeks after from this point. So from a business standpoint, it was smarter for them to just ignore it than it was to fire Casino Beard. I appreciate all the feedback and I'll get to working on the next parts. Good lord, I hope that is not a bit of foreshadowing. God knows we can't deal with another situation like Wheezy Beard. Oh, I pray for your safety, OP. I mean, this happened a long, long time ago. You're out of the situation, obviously. But even just hearing about it now makes all the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Like, I really didn't like the guy before. Thought he was disgusting and beardy. And now, once you put it into terms of, he can actually hurt me, it gives kind of that reality check. And it's like, oh yeah, let us not forget what we are dealing with here. I seriously hope Chad punches him in the mouth at some point or another. Oh, this has just been a wild ride. And we are only getting started. I think there will probably be... 
one more part of Casino Beard. I think there's three more stories, so I'll probably just blast it in the next episode, make it a big fat episode. But I guess we'll have to see how it all clears up in the next episode. If you did enjoy this episode though, friends, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe on the video if you have not already. Maybe even share it around on your social medias, you know what I mean? Does your grandma know about neckbeards? Well, she probably should. <laughs> Also, check out the links in the description, my personal subreddit, r slash redxreads, mine and my wife's channels, Mr. and Mrs. Red X, Teespring, if you're trying to rock that merch, and there's also my Amazon affiliate link, which currently goes to my microphone, but if you click through there, search anything else up on Amazon, then I get a small percentage of the purchase price, which is good if you're gonna buy something on Amazon anyways and just wanted to help out your boy Red, you know what I'm saying? We've also got social medias down there if you're looking for me. Discord, you can find me the most. Twitter, I'm on there sometimes. Facebook, I occasionally pop my head in. Oh, and of course, there's my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons. I'd like to thank them all, but especially Zero MMX, Lady Nix, Robert Waits, Pope Squid, Cider Drinker, Tato Ferret, The Last Shinobi, Mark211, Aaron W, Mitch, John Hero, Candy Sora, Fire Drake, Little Lone Wolf, Miss Monday, Silent Revolver, JM Coon, Leon Embers, TSM Kirby, Redwind, Synaptic Boom, Stick, Jerry, Staples, Yeet, Cake Jerry, that's a different Jerry. <laughs> My boy Nat One Nick, Brilliant, Helpful, Tamago, That Big Delicious Jelly Donut, The One and Only Liverson, The OG James Cook, Big Big Papa Jesus, Aaron Lennox, She Out Here, Serrated Ash, In The Game, Zuka, Oh My God, The Maestro, Zuka Serfantes, And We Have A New Friend Joining Us Today, A Rock Soars. Big Big Thank You For Any And All Support. Things do get demonetized occasionally. It might be the case with this post because, you know, this OP's got kind of a potty mouth, but I really do like the way that she writes. So we will continue the Casino Beard Saga quite soon, friends. Hang in there until then. And, and do consider maybe supporting if you'd like to monetarily help the channel out for when things do get demonetized. That is absolutely huge. I thank you very, very much in advance. But most importantly, I just thank you for being here today. And I hope you'll come on back. Join me again tomorrow. Because really, the views is like, oh, my beard gets buttered, man. <laughs> definitely, definitely wash your hands. Keep yourself safe out there, man. And also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today. Maybe watch some more Red X videos. Subliminal messaging. <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I will see you in the next one. And until then, bye-bye.